Table below shows the values of two variables x and y obtained from an experiment. Variable x and y are related by the equation y equal to p k power x, where p and k are constant. Part A plots log base 10 y against x by using a scale 2 cm to 2 unit on the x axis and 2 cm to 0 0.2 unit on the log y axis. Hence, draw the lines of best fit. So now I look at this question carefully. You have to plot log base 10 y against x. Therefore, your vertical axis, which is your big y, should be log base 10 y. And your horizontal axis, which is your big x, should be x. First, you have to construct a table consisting these two variables. So this is a table that you're supposed to construct. Here is your big X, which is equal to the small x. And this is your big Y, which is equal to log base 10 Y. So your X is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. Your log Y, can you see here your Y here is 3.16. So 0 0.5 is the value for log 10, 3.16. So 0 0.74 will be log 10, 5.5, and so on. So using this, you have to draw the line of best fit. Look at this graph paper here. This is not the actual size of graph paper. If you look at your graph paper, here to here will be 2 cm. We start by drawing the horizontal and vertical axis first. So here is your horizontal axis. You have to label the horizontal axis as x. And here is a vertical axis where the vertical axis should be log 10y. So for x axis here, you have to use 2 cm to 2 units. So look at your value of x. You have to draw from 2 to 12. So 2 cm here is 2 cm. So you have 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So now you have the value from 0 all the way to 12. And this is 2 cm here. And the scale is 2 cm to 2 unit. Now I move to the vertical axis, which is the log base 10y. You have to use the scale 2 cm to 0 0.2 unit. Now look at your log 10y here, you have to draw the value from 0 0.5 to 1.67 and 2cm here, the unit should be 0 0.2 unit, so you have 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1.0, 1.2, 1 1.4, 1.6, and 1.8. Now you have to start plotting the point here. The first point you're supposed to draw is 2, 0 0.5. So when is 2, 0 0.5? 2 here, 0 0.5. So this is the first point. The second point you're supposed to sketch is 4, 0 0.74. So 4 is here, 0 0.74 will be somewhere around here. Continue, you have to draw 6, 0 0.96, 8, 1.21, 10, 1.46, and 12, 1.67. So now all the six points here have been plotted. The first point, second point, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So now you have to draw the line of the best fit. So this is a straight line that you're supposed to sketch. You can see here, most of the point here is on the straight line. You need at one point slightly above this straight line. Now continue to part B. Use your graph from A to find the value of P and Q. To find the value of P and Q, we have to start with the original equation. That is Y equal to PK power X. And then convert this to the linear form that is y equal to mx plus c. So we know that the big y equal to log 10 y. So to convert to the linear form, we have to put log 10 both sides. So you have log 10 y equal to log 10 p 
pk power x. So for multiplication, you change to addition. So you have log 10p plus log 10k power x. Power x here, you can bring in front your x become x multiplied with log 10k plus log 10p. So rearrange, you have log 10y equal to log 10k multiply the x plus log 10p. So now listen carefully, you already have your big y. The big y must be exactly same as the vertical axis here, which is log 10y. And you have your big x, which is exactly the same as the horizontal axis. So this is your gradient, that is log 10k and log 10p should be your y-intercept. In this case, should be the intercept for the vertical axis here. So you can see here, to find the value of p, I have to obtain the value of c from the graph. That is the intercept here, vertical intercept. So this equal to 0 0.26. So you know your c is 0 0.26, therefore log 10p equal to 0 0.26 p equal to shift log of 0 0.26 which is 10 power 0 0.26 this will give your answer 1.82 to find the value of k you have to find the gradient m to find the gradient m you have to choose two points from the graph these are the two points that i choose the first point is 10 1.46 and the second point is 0 0 0.26 so i have two points 0, 0 0.26 and 10, 1.46. So the gradient equal to y2, 1.46 minus y1, 0 0.26 divided by x2, 10 minus x1, 0. This equal to 0 0.12. Therefore, my log 10k equal to 0 0.12. Therefore, k equal to shift log of 0 0.12, that is 10 power 0 0.12. This will give your answer for k 